This is question number four for the 2017 AP Calculus BC free response. At time t equals to zero, a boiled potato is taken from a pot on a stove and left to cool in a kitchen. So we know temperature should be decreasing as time is increasing. Maybe we're going to use this somehow. I, I'm just writing down those things that's coming to my mind. The internal temperature of the potato is 91 degrees Celsius at time t equals to zero. And the internal temperature of a potato is greater than 27 for all times greater than zero. This is telling us the room temperature is 27. The internal temperature of the potato at time t minute, or maybe we're going to need to use units, so let's pay attention, can be modeled by the function h that satisfies the differential equation dh dt is equal to negative 1 fourth times h minus 27, where h of t is measured in degrees Celsius, and h of naught is 91, and h of naught is 91 is just restating that the temperature is 91 at time t is equal to zero. An interesting thing to point out about dh dt, since we know h, we know h of t is greater than 27 for t greater than zero, they tell us that, we know dh dt has always to always has to be negative because h minus 27 is always going to be positive and since you're multiplying that by negative one fourth so we know dh dt is always less than zero for time greater than or equal to zero so it makes sense the temperature is decreasing as time is increasing okay enough for that now let's look at part a write an equation for the line tangent to the graph of h at t equals to zero well, what do we know? We know h of 0 is 91, so we got a point 0, 091, and we can find the slope of the line at t equals to 0. Slope of the line is one f uh, negative 1 fourth times the temperature, which is 91 minus 27. 91 minus 27 is 64, so you got negative 16 for the slope. And now you're just plugging this into point slope form. y minus y1 is equal to slope times x minus x1. Oh, uh, in this case, it's not y, it's actually h. So we got h minus uh, h, some value of h, which is, which is 91, is equal to slope of negative 16 times the time, in this case, t minus 0. That gets us h is negative 16t plus 91. What else do they want us to do? Use this equation to approximate the internal temperature of the potato at t equals to 3. That's just plugging things in. h is 3 is approximately negative 16 times 3 plus 91 which gets us what 43 degrees celsius so that's the answer for a now let's go on to part b what's part b use d use second derivative of h with respect to time to determine whether your answer in part a is underestimate or overestimate of the internal temperature of the potato at t equals to 3 so let's start by finding d2h dt2 how do you find that? You know dh dt is negative 1, 1 fourth h minus 27. So let's just simply differentiate that. So you got negative 1 fourth and you're going to differentiate h with respect to t. And differentiating negative 27 gets us 0. So we can leave it like this. And you can plug in dh dt, which we know as negative 1 fourth times h minus 27. That gets us 1 over 16 times h minus 27. So how can we how can we use this to determine whether the our estimate of 43 degrees Celsius at time of 3 is underestimate or overestimate? Here's the thing. Let's say d2h dt2 is greater than 0. That is the function h is concave concave upward. What's happening then? If the function is concave upward and you're estimating this point using the tangent line from this point, our approximation is going to be underestimate because the point on a tangent line is located below. If if dhd2 if the second derivative were to be less than zero, that means we got concave downward. Then our tangent line is going to be what above the point. So that's so we are estimating it like this. So in this case, you're having an overestimate. So all we have to do is figure out whether dh whether the second derivative is concave upward or whether second derivative is positive or negative to determine whether the h is concave upward or downward. Can we figure that out? Well, they told us what? What did they tell us? 
the temperature is greater than 27. For all times t is greater than 0. So since h is always going to be more than 27, positive 1 over 16 times something positive is always going to be greater than 0 for all time greater than 0. So since we know second derivative of h with respect to t is greater than 0, we have concave upward and that's going to lead to, as I showed you, under approximation. Under approximation. So that's the answer for b. How about for c? For time greater than 0, an alternate model for the internal temperature of the potato is the function g that satisfies the, this differential equation, where g of t is measured in degrees Celsius and g of 0 is 91. Realize g of 0 and h of 0 both agree, which, which looks nice. Find an expression for g of t that's just solving the differential equation. What do you have? dg dt is negative g, negative g minus 27 to the two-thirds. Two-thirds. Let's start by separating the variable. You got 1 over, let's actually write it like this. Let's write g minus 27 to the negative two-thirds dg is equal to negative dt, and you're going to integrate both sides, and that's going to get us what? 3 times g minus 27 to the one-third is equal to t plus some constant, negative t plus some constant actually. How do you figure out this constant of integration? We know at time, you know g of z is, you know g of 0 is equal to 91, so you know g of 0 is equal to 91, so let's plug this in. 3 times 91 minus 27 to the one-third is 0 plus c sub 1. So what's c sub 1? 91 minus 27 is 64. A cubic root that gets us 4. So you know c sub 1 is 12. So what equation do we get? We get 3 times g minus 27 to the one-third is negative t, negative t plus 12. Dividing by 3 gets us g minus 27 to the one-third is negative t over 3 plus 4. And you want to cube that, add 27, gets us g of t is 27 plus 4 minus t over 3 cubed. Okay, uh, what else do they want us to do? Based on this model, what is the internal temperature at t equals to 3? Just plugging things in once again. g of 3 is 27 plus 4 cubed, which is 27 plus 64. Oh, is it 64? No, that's 3 cubed because you got you got uh, 4 minus 1, 3 cubed. So 27 plus 27 which should get you 54 degrees Celsius. And this thing is nice because our approximation of g of 3, 54, is actually greater than the approximation we had for the tangent line. And we said that tangent line is under approximation. So all of our values seem to match each other, which is good. That's it.